This video is a quick overview on using QGIS, an open access free GIS program to do yield monitor data analysis. So on-farm trials are great to provide insight for new practices and to evaluate if they're worth continuing on or expanding across more acres on a farm. There's lots of different ways of keeping track of data. If you're using a combine yield monitor data, one of the easiest ways might be to track loads or regions while you're combining in, in, at harvest time in the fall. Um, but it might not always be practical at harvest time, especially if you don't know where the plots are in the field. So if at the end of the year, all you have is a yield monitor data layer and you know you have plots in there somewhere, there's still some options to go into that yield monitor layer and try to collect your yields from your plots. And those are some examples that we're gonna go through. There's lots of different ways of trying to do this. There's many software options that can do this, uh, as well as for hire services that can also do this uh, for a fee as well. And there's pros to these. Some of these are pretty quick. And obviously if you're hiring somebody to do it, uh, you don't have to worry about doing the work yourself, which is handy, especially if you have a lot of comparisons that you want to do and not much experience using GIS programs. If you've got a little bit of time on your hands and you're not afraid of learning some new software, QGIS is one option that's a relatively low cost and low risk way of, uh, of doing some of these comparisons, but does take a little bit of time to do so. So in this example, I've got an example data set where a grower wants to evaluate a new practice on their farm. So they've got one treatment, which is their existing standard practice, and they're comparing that to a new treatment, which is a new practice. So it could be a, a different type of uh, different type of tillage practice or a different fertilizer practice, or maybe a new hybrid or variety for their farm. In this example, we've pulled in a yield monitor data layer. We've gone in and selected the plots in the field, and we've summarized moisture and yield data, all using a yield monitor layer, as well as QGIS to uh, collect that information. So getting QGIS or getting access to QGIS is pretty easy. Uh, if you simply do a quick search for QGIS, it can take you right to the website. And once you're at the website, you can go down and download the program for free. There's some pros and cons to using QGIS. Pros include that it is free. And there's also lots of resources out there. So the next series of videos I'm gonna create for extracting yield monitor data out of QGIS from a, a yield monitor layer uh, was pretty much all learned from just doing some searches for forums and videos uh, for different steps on how to do the different steps that I need to go through. And you know, most of this I learned in an afternoon with no prior experience using QGIS. So those are the pros of using QGIS. There's some cons as well. One is that you have to use shape files, which are a, a generic spatial file, but you can't read your monitor data directly into QGIS. So you'll have to go through some farm GIS software first or the software that came with your monitor to, uh, to export those layers as, as shape files first. Uh, some of the other issues also include that it's, these methods aren't as fast as some other options out there. There's some other programs where you can quite literally get these summaries right off of your tablet with a few swipes of a finger. Uh, and it takes a few more steps than that using QGIS. And maybe one other con is it can't do everything that some other high-end GIS programs can do, uh, but it still has lots of capabilities and lots of different analysis you can do. Personally, I've found QGIS pretty helpful when I don't have access to software to do some of these analysis, such as during a COVID lockdown. And also when I'm working with colleagues who don't have this software either, uh, they've got data they maybe want to extract plots out of or plot yields or moistures or whatever out of, but they don't have access to some of the farm GIS software to do those things. QGIS is a nice option for them to work with uh, when they don't have access to those. So follow along in the next set of videos. I'll go step by step how you can use QGIS to extract plot summaries out of uh, combined yield monitor data layers.